Hey, hey, it's me. Um, it's about, um, I don't know, like five hours after I purchased two of the same horse. And yeah, like, I'm just gonna be honest, I was super tired. I had a really long day. And then in a video, I literally rode a horse at the beginning of the video and then bought the same horse in that video. Like, not the highest point for me, I'm not even gonna lie. But, you know, regardless of what happens, we gotta have a horse funeral, so... Because I can't have two of the same horse, that's just, you know, too much stable care to take care of, you know? But I do want to show you guys, in my defense, I mean, I'm not saying what I did was good. Literally in the video, the already owned button is not... It's just not here, you know? Like, I was looking at the same horse, no already purchased button. But see, like, it exists. It existed for other horses. So, moral of the story, do not trust the horse already owned button. I have trust issues now, but we gotta go slow kimono. <laughs> and the thing is, like... Even in the video, I was like, wait, I thought I had this horse, but I guess because it says I haven't already bought it, I must not have it. So I bought it again. And here we are. Look, it's kimchi. And then here's kimono, the same horse that I purchased. Obviously, we gotta keep kimchi. I've had too many good times with kimchi. So we have to go sell kimono. First of all, we need to clean up this whole situation. It's, I've owned this horse less than 24 hours, but you know, it's time. Buy Key Monster, also known as kimono. Oh my gosh, so geared up with its zero point starter gear. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not proud of what I did, but I also don't feel like I'm I'm not gonna apologize because it's my star coins, you know, whatever. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Only 2,500 star coins, but you know, cool. And it's not like I gave kimono to the wilderness. Like, kimono went somewhere, they'll be very happy. Star Stable told me that, so it's, it's fine. And by the way, more people gave me pig and seal names while I was sleeping, which obviously I needed to sleep. I slept for about, you know, 15 hours in the past four days, just like being busy with the art contest and stuff. So that's why I bought a horse that I already had. <laughs> Love that. Okay, we have to go back to Orland. I'm just gonna buy some pigs and some seals with the names you guys gave me. And Luna Brave night said pig names richard charlie eugene and howard literally couldn't think of any perfect more perfect pig names this one is definitely richard charlie is the spotted one charlie eugene has to be this one the cool pig and here's howard oh my gosh the pigs are really cute i actually use them all the time and then a bunch of people on instagram gave me more punny amazing name aurora lake water said goalie i want to name this black one goalie i got some weird names too but we don't talk about it. Amelie's equine dream said Reina. I'm gonna do this like non-speckled gray one is gonna be Reina. Amelia equine dream. You gave a lot of names. They also said Kelpie. I think that's cute. So I'm gonna name this dark brown one Kelpie. Such a cute name. Diane Van SSO. I don't know how to say her name. Sorry. They said C Linda. I think that's hilarious. This black one is gonna be C Linda. Even though it looks exactly like the other black one except it's darker. C Linda. We love. Okay. Ivy Cherry Pie said Eucalyptus. I think that's cute. I wanna name this one Eucalyptus. This. And then Elaine Stonestar said you should name one Neil, like Neil the Seal on TikTok. Bro, I don't even know what that is, but I think Neil's a cool name. Neil the Seal, this one. All right, now you guys know the names for all of my seals and my pigs. I've actually just filmed this so that I wouldn't forget, honestly. <laughs> you know, it's fine. Anyways, um, back to the video. Hey guys, I'm gonna be recording this little intro bit here because this is like, I don't know, for me, this has become a really nostalgic area of the game, honestly. And there was someone doing like dressage in the paddock and it looked really cute. So anyway, Anyways, here we are. Okay, so this is me recording. I didn't like what I said <laughs> when I recorded this video originally. So after, it's been about 24 hours since the results of the R contest came out and let's just have a chat really quick. Cause I think if I'm open and honest about everything I feel and everything that happened, maybe you guys will kind of see my perspective and then yeah, I think it would just be helpful for all of us. So I just wanted to start by saying all of you guys are very sweet and supportive and I've, I've really appreciated it. I've had a few people DM me privately. I was hesitant about even bringing this up because the whole point of this art contest first of all i'm not an artist i'm really not i'm very much a beginner i'm not really in the art community and i made this art contest because of the request of some of you guys for me reaching 5,000 subscribers it was really intended to be something small just to give back to you guys um and i am not the most equipped to be judging art competitions or anything i felt very overwhelmed um and i definitely wanted to focus this video and the whole contest around how great you guys are and how much talent you have and just show off all of your talent i did just want to say a lot of people dm'd me um i don't know how to say this i don't want to point anybody out because i don't have any proof of anything that occurred during the contest basically questioning the authenticity of some people's art which is totally understandable and honestly from the beginning of the contest i really wasn't informed i guess about a lot of the different like techniques that are out there that people can use and i'm a very trusting person i kind of just was hoping i'd be able to 
to take people at their word. This is still kind of a small channel that's grown a lot in the last few months even. And I'm just, I don't know, I guess I'm used to like having people I can trust, but <laughs> I'm aware now there are people out there who will lie and cheat and that makes me really sad. I can't prove anything, um, but I totally understand the concerns that were raised. And I just wanted to say again, like in my Instagram DMs, they were all the most respectful. Like you guys were so kind and made me feel so much better. Um, the number of people who said, here are my concerns. I really appreciate you for doing this contest. Like I hope it doesn't discourage you from wanting to do this again. And people were saying, it's totally not your fault. I'm sorry that you're in this situation. And I feel like mostly bad if like anyone did cheat for artists. Um, I just want you guys to know I definitely support all artists and I feel bad for any barriers there were. It was kind of a tricky situation. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. If you don't, it's okay. Let's just say if there was potential cheating, I feel really terrible and that makes me so sad. Um, but in the end, cheating is on the artist if they cheated and there's not much I could do about it since they don't really have proof of people's um, authenticity of their art. But I did just want to put that out there that I'm aware if you had concerns about the contest results. Me too, I feel really like I have really upset and it makes me not want to do something like this again. But I think it just is the reality of the internet. The internet gives us so many cool opportunities to connect and it also gives people opportunities to be dishonest. So I'm just going to put that out there. Like there's not really much I can do at this point except just continue on. And yeah, I just hope that didn't take away from your experience and I hope it was still fun for you guys. And I hope you get where I'm coming from. And I can't even emphasize like I know people were upset and people had to have negative feelings about the contest results. I'm sure some people did, but none of you said anything unkind and I don't even know how that's possible on the internet. Like you guys are a really special group of people and I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it and let's not talk about that anymore. I don't even really want to talk about it in the comments. Let's just move on and I really want the focus to be on you guys and all the amazing creations that you have. I don't like, you know, I feel like that conversation, I almost didn't want to have it on the channel because I didn't want to take away from you guys. Now let's celebrate all of your amazing art. I got art from you guys from Instagram DMs, the Discord server mainly. Some people even posted on YouTube and I tried to find all the tags people give me on YouTube um, to find people's art because they spent time on it. And if your art was not shown and you know you submitted it in this video, please comment or please DM me on Instagram and I'll find a special way to represent your art on my channel. Cause seriously, like this was as a thank you to you guys. And I just appreciate, again, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I hope you know, like I have the best of intentions. I hope that I didn't make anyone feel sad or like discouraged from drawing. I hope overall like this was a positive fun thing and you guys felt that. Okay hi it's me again. At this point I did reach out to the contestants and have compensated them just based on suspected dishonesty. I can't prove anything but I can use my best judgment and make sure people are compensated based on what I think should have happened. Um, So all of them have been compensated and to avoid any negativity I did delete all of my art contest posts. Sorry if you wanted to see those but I don't want to suspected art on my page and I want to support true artists so and I also don't want people reaching out I just don't want any bullying or people to be targeted because of this either so I just tried to do it quietly hopefully that was the right decision um but just know all the artists have been compensated for their art I did my best it's not fun when people are potentially dishonest and do ruin it for other people um and even if that wasn't the case by some random miracle that was really their art I don't want it out there and if you have a post of it please avoid posting it as I just just don't want that kind of negativity. Let's focus instead on the artists I have who, based on current information I have, did draw these drawings and they're the new top four. So we have um, Makoto.srt. They drew this absolutely beautiful, stunning painting. Favorite colors. I love this art piece. I would make this my desktop background. It's absolutely stunning. I love the way they drew the horse. It's amazing. Um, and then in the second, we have Lisa Macwater. This painting is absolutely stunning. I love the style of the art piece and the butterfly. Everything is very, I don't know, it's just like a breathtaking, it's like a breath of fresh air and absolutely beautiful, of course. And then in third, we have Birdie, Birdie's Nest SSO. I love this photo. The colors, like the vibrant purple and the turtleneck and the skirt and the horse, just that your style 
style of art is so cute and special. I absolutely adored your drawing. And then in fourth, we have Emu's drawing. They drew me with my lip is honor, they said, and absolutely cutest drawing ever. I want this as my phone background. It's so cute. It gives me the happiest sunshine vibes. And yeah, thank you to our new top four. I'm not going to be posting another art contest thing like this whole thing has been kind of crazy. Thanks for being along here with me on this journey. And obviously like I didn't purposely, like there's nothing I really could have done except be more informed, which you don't know until you know, you know, I'm still learning just like everyone, I'm a human. Um, but congrats to our top four. I'm really grateful for you guys sticking around with me. And I hope that I kind of set things right in the best way that I could. I really did my best. I appreciate people reaching out to me and helping me to learn and those who reached out in a positive way. That was very helpful. Okay in order to get through all these submissions i think i got almost 50 submissions was way more than what i was expecting honestly i i see myself as a small scale youtuber so i didn't expect like the art contest to get as much outreach as it did honestly which was crazy and it was a lot of pressure and it was very stressful and i'm kind of i'm kind of glad it's over it was it was a lot of pressure um but anyways hopefully i got everyone's art in this video like my biggest fear is that i forgot someone i mean i was collecting art for two months and filing it away and i was getting used names from people and hopefully i got everybody i don't know what we've learned from this video so far is that i am a human so cool who would have thought the first submission is from yorvik places i think they submitted a couple pieces and a lot of people i did say you, you can submit multiple submissions and some people did yeah anyways i really liked this piece it was really cute i'm a really big fan of the color pink in the online world i don't know why like in real life i don't like pink but oh they like updated this they improved user experience i like how when you finish a race it does that it's kind of cool and by the way i'm racing evelyn my gotlin pony didn't expect to see a gotlin pony in a recent training video did you you probably didn't i just felt like it i don't know okay anyways i love their art i think the background is so cute and i like the positioning of like the person and the horse i thought it was really creative how like in the background they used like abstract roses for the background a lot of you guys did that i thought that was super cool yeah i just really like this one it's super cute. I think they said they have an Instagram, so I, this is their Instagram user. Anyways, thank you, Yorvik Places, for your submission. It's so cute. Okay, the next submission was by Nicole Kate. I really like this one. I like the, like, blue color. Not a lot of people did, I feel like, bluish colors. I thought this was really cool. Um, and I like the bohemian style. I think when I started the art contest, I had different, different intro and outro and different channel art and stuff like that, and I updated that during this time period. Totally coincidentally, not really on purpose. Anyways, they I kind of took that like flower crown idea from my old profile picture which i like i thought it was cool and yeah i thought the details like the hair was really cute like it's wavy it's kind of similar to my hair except this girl's hair is way thick i wish that was my real hair <laughs> the horse is beautiful i don't know how you guys draw horses to me it's amazing and i like the details on the bridle i thought that was a really nice touch so thank you for your art this next one i hope i'm pronouncing it right but it's scarflet i'm not really sure how to pronounce it anyways this is their submission i I love the colors. I'm a pastel girl. I love pastels. And I thought that this one was really unique and cool. I liked the way that they had their horse like kind of laying on them. Like I thought that was so cool. That was so unique. Like the positioning of the picture is really cool. The pattern in the background is really cool. And a lot of the people who gave submissions did comment like what horse they drew, which I thought was super cute. But this person said that they drew Chia, which I think I love Chia. And this is such a cute picture and it's really well done your style is super cool i just i really liked it i mean this video is just gonna be being like i really like all of these like i really did i liked all of your pictures i was overwhelmed <laughs> Oh my gosh, the donkey thing? Is that still a thing? Okay, this next one is by Anita Underdawn. Where am I even going? It's by Anita Underdawn SSO. This one is so cool. All of you guys had really unique like concepts for as far as like posing and like I thought this one was really cute. Very cool style of art and I like the colors. They're like very wintry, which I thought was nice. I love that you used an Elsa braid. You must know me pretty well. You know I'm secretly obsessed with Elsa braids and we love probably my favorite part about this or this drawing 
thing is they're making like a hand heart on the horse's nose i think that's so cute like oh my gosh okay this one is by beatrice will sso i think that's how you say their name um i like i love the color of this one this light purple it's my favorite color it's the same color as my phone my phone is light purple i'm sure a lot of you are not surprised by that but anyways i love the color light purple i like the shade of purple and i thought this one was really cute i like the concept for your art is really cool like i love that i have little bug eyes i think it's super cute and the horse is super cute as well honestly the horse on this drawing kind of looks it reminds me of my starter horse my starter horse is a gray and i love that you did a gray that's super cute and it's got little dapples very very cute okay this next artist drew me with a wolf nightgown it looks like and this was drawn by ace um ace drew i think a few of the submissions that are going to be in this video i love the wolf whenever i see that like wolf sweatshirt it reminds me of the i think it's the first championship challenge i did on my channel where i like stayed up all day <laughs> doing the championships the whole day I'm pretty sure that's when i was in witch ladies and that time of life was just so fun and sso like it gives me so many good memories so this picture is very cute it just reminds me of like all those great memories brings back nostalgia that wool thank you for the drawing ace and then ace also drew two other pictures this next one is of two horses it kind of reminds me of like dartmoor ponies like my picture on my instagram with my two dartmoor ponies it kind of reminds me of that picture it's really cute i like that you used concepts for my channel i thought that was cool i also really like how the horse has like a carrot in its mouth and like the apples and like the details good job okay and then this next one they drew me with a crown i love this oh my gosh i like queen rose i don't know someone in my discord server i can't even remember if it was ace or if it was someone else someone in my discord server was calling me queen rose i was like like what i don't even know i don't feel ready for this right now i just thought it was cute i really like the details on the top and i like the one earring vibe with it your hair tucked behind your ear i'm a low-key hair tucked behind my ears kind of girl i always have hair tucked behind my ears some people use like clips and stuff i just use my ears i'm like a built-in clip i didn't think about that until right now how interesting that is i could talk about that probably for 10 minutes about the whole tucking your hair behind your ear however nobody cares thank you ace for all your submissions they're cute and i love them okay the next drawing is by alice bunny watcher um alice i don't know how you did this but or like what program you used but it's really cool like this is a very cool style of art it kind of looks like a fit from like one of my thumbnails but you totally like took it and ran with it is one of my favorite striped sweaters in the whole game i've said on my channel before that it's like one of my favorite tennessee walking horse coats in the whole game so i like i thought it was really cool that you used a horse that i really like in the game like one of my favorites and it's like the details are so clear it's very cool it's very easy to tell like what specific horse and what horse breed you drew like really good job that would be a hard horse to pick so you took a real challenge because i feel like the coat is really hard to, to draw and you did such a good job executing it and the style overall is just really cool i like that i'm holding a carrot i think thank you peace thank you alice okay the next painting was by allison rain hunter i thought this one was really cute i thought the details on the character were really nice and i thought like the skin looks i wish my skin looked like that in real life glowy and highlighted and nice the overall like vibe like the color scheme of this drawing i really really like the hair just looks so good and we love a turquoise moment i'm so here for turquoise okay at first i really liked this like closing screen and i still do but it's definitely really in your face i don't know what are your guys's like opinions on the new like race finishing screen it looks way better to me but it is really in your face i think i like it though the next submission was drawn by amy i love the hand-drawn art i am so impressed with people who can draw things by hand like i mean i have hand sketched things before but i've never really gone into like the hand-drawn art route because i'm not good at it and if you make a mistake you have to like start all over pretty much right i don't know I'm very impressive i love that you made it like a circle i thought that was a really cool concept and i can tell i think it's you drew my arden i think that's the horse you drew it's super cute i'm always impressed by you guys drawing horses it looks amazing <laughs> so nice work the next artist is aria shark mountain oh my gosh this submission was so freaking good like i'm obsessed with it they actually like missed the deadline just by like i don't know it was like not very much but they missed the deadline before submissions closed and they just posted it on the discord server and they said this was supposed to be my art but it was late and it was like after i had already kind of like finalized the whole contest so anyways i said i'm gonna put this in my video like still but oh my gosh it's so pretty i love that they use like a western concept because i read western irl i love the red pants i want those as soon as possible and i think that they use is it sushi i don't know which horse they use but it's really really cute anyways i'm obsessed with it the colors the horse 
course. I don't know, some of these I can't tell if it's like hand-drawn, if it's an edit. I don't know like what program people used, but whatever they did, it looks amazing. So great job on this one. And honestly, it's the mane and tail for me. Like the mane and tail looks so good. Flowing water, like it looks so flowy and soft. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good at describing things, okay? I'm not, I'm just not. I can go to Golden Leaf Stables. The next artist is Blue Healer Luna. This one is so cool. I love the concept. A lot of you guys had you and your horse like chilling. The horses were positioned in so many different ways. Like I can barely draw a horse standing up. So I'm like so impressed that you guys drew. I don't know. Like just knowing like horse anatomy enough to be able to draw this stuff is amazing to me. Anyways, I like this one because they're like looking off in the distance. And I don't know, like maybe hopefully this isn't weird, but this like the background, like all the trees, it like reminds me of Twilight. I'm sorry. I hope this isn't offensive to you. It's a good thing. I like that movie sometimes. But it kind of gives me like spooky forest vibes which i really like actually it's a very positive thing okay and i like the hair it's like wavy and like it's really cool okay the new screen for ending a race is better I, after a few times i've gotten used to it it's better okay the next artist is blue veil studio oh my gosh that is such a pretty like it's so pretty another like cool positioning of a horse and like the style of the horse i thought was really interesting like the horse looks so chunky and freaking cute you picked my favorite color for a top lavender or like light purple and I love the like details. A lot of you guys put like rose details in your submissions and this one has like cute like rose flowers in the hair. It's just like such a nice detail. I thought it was really really nice and you're a really good artist. Like I was really impressed. Like I don't even know. I don't know how people draw things. It's crazy. Okay cool. Thank you so much for your submission. I love I loved staring. I like I could stare at this picture for like a long time. <laughs> it just looks so cool another thing i really liked about their picture was actually the background i thought it was cool it looks like you can tell it's sso in the background but that they drew it themselves like i think that's really cool it's like a i don't know they like made sso into their own concept very impressive unlike my training my writing is not impressive guys <laughs> i already know it's fine okay the next artist is brad sick name honestly 12 out of 12 what did I even just say? I don't know. Words just came into my mouth and I was looking at my phone slightly and I don't even know what I just said. And this picture is really good. Um, I like the faceless art. I think that's cool. A lot of you guys did faceless art. I like remember like a few years ago, people would send like their family Christmas cards and stuff. We would get family Christmas cards, Christmas cards, and people would send them and they were all like faceless drawings. This kind of reminds me of that. I thought it was cool and it's like an interesting concept art. I like how the horse is like bucking in the background. I think that's cool. It kind of reminds me of my must. I don't know if that's what it was based off of, but it kind of reminds me of that and I think it's cool. It's really cool. I love that I have a freaking Gucci belt. Like, are we kidding? Yeah, I think that's what it is. And like my whole outfit, it feels like very 90s, very 90s vibes. I don't know, am I wrong? I think it's really cute. I would wear that. Except I don't look good in pink IRL, dang it. My SSO character would wear that. Very cute. Thank you, Brad. Cadence Potato Garden submitted their art and this is their art. I like this one a lot. I love all the roses. I think it's cool. It looks like they kind of like took the like an outfit that exists in SSO and they like made it their own like with red and like but they like designed a freaking fit <laughs> it looks so cool maybe I'm wrong it kind of reminds me of like the base of the outfit is like from the new hollow woods one of the outfits from the hollow wood okay I'm gonna pull for pickup and do races from Vildo I love how they just put like roses everywhere like in the horse's mane I thought it was cool and then they also did this other drawing which I thought was cool too I feel like you're cool at like you design really cool like outfits for the characters I really I would wear the sweater freaking warm and cozy and fuzzy and i love it <laughs> thank you for your drawings i love it i love the colors they kind of match my new channel art which is cool okay the next artist is capri leopard cat holy frick i thought this was the coolest i mean all of them were so cool i like don't want to compare but like they did such a cool job taking a picture of a like non-digital art because they submitted a picture of hand-drawn art i thought it was cool they included their colored pencils in the picture and like made it so artsy like holy frick not even to mention how amazing this drawing is like it is such a good job on this drawing it's cool because they used a real outfit. I feel like it's an outfit I've worn in SSO. I used to I have this like show jacket. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna make it. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I thought this was really cool. And the horse, like, let me look at it again. The tail. Can you please explain to me how to draw a tail like that? Like the braid and then the way it like blows, like reminds me. Okay, this is so weird. Like of Ursula. I don't know. <laughs> but in like the best way possible. It looks so good. And the mane and tail. The details on the horse. I don't even know how you do that. I don't even understand. You did such a great job. You're a freaking artist. Also, like the muscles on this horse, like the horse has like, I don't know, just like the 
shading and like the, the horse looks so muscular and the eyelashes on the character like the character is so cute i don't know are they called a character the person they're so cute okay the next artist is oh dang i'm doing orientation no or orienteering oh my gosh orientation what is wrong with me okay it's by charlotte abbey um this one is so cool when they finished they told me how long it took and i was like oh my gosh it took such a long time to draw this but it's obvious because like all three horses like the details this they're so nice i love all of the horses i thought you picked i thought you picked really cool ones and i like that you chose three different breeds to me it looks like an appaloosa and a shire and i'm not sure what the other one is but it's really cool i like how you picked a variety and like unique horses and then again you guys know me with my purple my purple shirts everywhere everyone knows my favorite color is purple that's cute okay i'm not actually focused on this orienteering race because apparently i'm just running in circles forgetting what i'm even doing oh my god this cool okay so charlotte you're so talented at drawing horses it kind of reminds me of like a western arena and i also just think it's really cute how the character or the person is like position sitting on one of the horses i think if you i look like a cute little lesson instructor and i have wrinkles because i'm granny rose apparently i love that it makes me look i look wise okay the next artist is claire's world 113 okay claire you literally picked one of my favorite pieces of tack you did the like white outlined new bridles which i think is cool it's so cool to see people draw new sso clothing items or tack items i don't know i love this character i think they look really cute and they look like a nice i don't know like is it weird to say some like a drawing look they look like they're a nice person <laughs> she looks nice and she has cute eyelashes and i think that i think this is like kind of the outfit i wore for doing my first flat show video that i did i think it's cool someone drew that as their concept art like as their drew art like that concept that outfit i think that's super cool i love that and this drawing kind of is like a memory of my first flat show was it my first i think it was my very first flat show why did i record that how embarrassing anyways <laughs> looking back i'm like that was a lot oh my gosh i keep getting stuck everywhere in hollow woods please don't judge me i'm gonna do the, the um firefly races now okay and the next one is by dolly doll world i think this one is super cute i like the outfit i love the beanie and this one is more like of an edit type and i like the butterfly you added and it's really cute and i'm not sure like which horse breed this is but it kind of reminds me of like one of my thumbnails but that is one of my favorite tops in game so you picked a good one great work love the edit okay this is um the artist is i don't know how to pronounce this grimes grims i don't know sorry <laughs> i'm not trying to mess up your names but this one is so cool i think they submitted two submissions but this is one of them and it's just like me and my character looking up in the sunset and i think this is such a cool concept for art and like the way you do your art i don't know like the name for the technique but it's like not like watercolor but see i'm not even good i'm not good with i really only know digital i'm not good with other stuff and even then with digital i'm like i'm a beginner so it's re again it's really hard that you guys are way more advanced than me but it's a cool like technique whatever you use to do your art is really cool I like that it's more of like an abstract type drawing like and the shading is amazing I don't even know like the colors everything is perfect like so nice I don't know why but like you guys in your braids the braids always get me the two little braids in the back I'm sorry it's just so cute it's the braids for me and then they drew another one they drew this too and honestly this is what I want to look like if I was an English writer this is the kind of English writer I'd want to be I love that they're using a neck rope I love it this is Rose English version and like your style of art is really cool the character's face looks really cute the horse is so well done and that's what i want to look like if i wrote english irl i'd be wearing that fit all day every day so great job on your art thank you so much for your submissions but horse lover 345 did this cute like edit of my old outro picture or like a picture i've done on instagram really cute i love it i love seeing people like um edit things i've drawn before because i'm like oh my gosh that's so sweet like i i don't know i think it's really nice thank you for your submission i love it i loved this picture too I love the Shire. It's like one of my favorite Shires. It's one of my favorite breeds. Love it. Thank you. Okay, and then we had Inferior Maw. Two drawings. So the first one is really cool. It's like a I love the color scheme. It's like very like hands and oh my gosh, what just happened? I just go like chuck. That was so annoying. Scenery is super pretty. I like the forest and how you drew the trees. And I love all like the four leaf clovers and like the colors. It's super nice. It's cool because it's kind of like a picture. Like it's a drawing. I think it's like at night, like the moon is out. Cool like your colors match that it's night 
time. I just think it's really nice. You did a great job on that one. The braids, you guys. Holy cow. This, this picture they drew. I love my character's braids. It looks so cute. And the horses. I remember when you submitted this, I stared at it for like five minutes. I was like, the horses are so cute. The horse that's holding a little like flower in its mouth. So cute. The color scheme of your picture is everything I like. I love like the purpley, pink purple. And the color scheme is so nice. And your horses are so cute. You were really good at drawing horses. Very talented. We love. And inferior moth. I think that you're actually not an inferior moth. You're like a superior moth. Like great job. One of the best moths we've had in these submissions. You know what I mean? Okay. Sorry. I didn't. I like think I accidentally did a typo in my submission. So you have like places. This is their second submission. I think that your first one was the first one in this video. Yay. Congrats. <laughs> this was their. I think this was actually their first submission and the other one was their second submission i'm not sure 100 percent. i love this one how it has concepts with like roses and i think it's cool that it's like the character facing away from the port in the portrait if that makes sense and the way you edited an sso horse to be like holding onto the rail is very creative i thought that was super cool i like how you put two ribbons on the back of their hair and the hair is just so i don't know it's just so nice like it looks so good you did a great job on both your submissions thank you Rena gold hurricane is our next artist and they drew this lovely hand drawing of me holding a prize ribbon with my horse and i would just like to take this as a sign that i'm gonna win a flat show at some point i thought this was super cute like i personally interpreted it as me winning a flat show because we all know how my first flat show went you know it didn't go so well but i like this one because i'm holding a ribbon so i placed in a flat show <laughs> it looks like it to me are you guys proud of me that i understand some english terms now i feel like it's required if i'm gonna do this youtube thing i have to understand some english terms you know i gotta i gotta do better anyways i really liked this drawing. I like how you combined like different shades of colors to make it look dynamic. Like I really liked this drawing and I can't really tell like what media it is. I think maybe color pencils. I'm not 100% sure though because I'm not really good with not really good with hand drawings and I'm not really much of an artist myself. But anyways, it's very cute. I like how the horse is lifting up one foot. I think that's like the cutest horse pose ever. Okay, and then Lily High Park. We got another one that it looks like it's referenced off of my old channel art, like my banner image and like an Instagram edit I did. I really love that instagram edit it was like it had all my favorite colors in it and i love this top this top i might have been like a old cross country top i used with a club which ladies maybe i don't think uh, i think it was a different one it looks similar to it anyways anyways i really love it i love the horse the mane looks floofy as frick you did an amazing job and the character style is so cool very unique and i like it a lot and you know on this channel we love a good flower crown i had someone comment on a video once i can't remember it was kind of a while ago and they said i don't know i don't even know what i did i think they said your outfit's not complete without your flower crown and then i realized i wear flower crowns a lot and then i started getting into my baseball hat era and kind of stopped wearing flower crowns but should i go back to the my flower crown era because that was a really good time for star stable in general okay this is actually one of the winners of my contest makoto srt i'm not really sure i hope i pronounced your name correctly they have an instagram page i actually follow them on instagram their art's really good um and they this was their second drawing and i thought it was so cool like i thought this was a really cool concept i like the tans it actually goes really well with my new like color scheme on my channel like the more creams and reds and i don't know dusty roses kind of the style of their art is so freaking cool like i love the anime style of art in general but my first like real commissioned channel art i had on my channel like like the pink one I used to have and like my intro and outro and that was my channel art. It was like more of an anime style art and I loved that artist so much and I still love that channel art photo. I just I really like changing things so I updated it. Anyways, their art is really cool and the braids are like fishtail braids. I don't know, has anyone ever tried to do fishtail braids? Personally on my hair they look so weird but their fishtail braids in this drawing are freaking amazing. They look so so good. Like I'm very impressed. V impressive. And I think that they had commented this was their first time drawing horses since like they were way young. I think they commented that and I was like, bro, your horses are better than mine will ever be. Like, and they're like stylish. Like they're styled in such a cool way. Like the horse drawing is so cool and unique and interesting. Anyways, I really like your art, but I love this picture. Thank you for the submission. All right. This artist submitted to me through Instagram, Mila McKay Barrel, I think. Um, they drew this and I love that they used, again, the concept for my flat show video. I thought it was super cool. Love the fit from flat show and the horse jumping. It's hard to draw a horse jumping 
jumping. I think you did a really good job. I think it's super cute. I love the blue background. Very vibrant colors. The only thing I have a question about is why does it say flat show gone wrong? That's so rude. I'm just kidding, by the way. <laughs> you can't tell. I'm totally joking. Yeah, the flat show did go wrong. It didn't go super well for me, but I think it's funny. This is like a, like also kind of a funny art piece because they like are kind of pointing out that I did bad. I, I appreciate it. I think it's funny. Okay, the next submission is by Mooney Art and they put their tags actually in their photo in a cool way, which I thought was super cool. Or not their photo, their drawing. And I think they told me they use colored pencils for this drawing if I'm right. Um, but Mooney usually comments on my videos and so you can clarify probably in this video if you see this. But um, I really like colors. It's like bright colors. Like am I doing? I'm, I don't want to stay the night here. Colors are like nice and bright, like the yellow and red. You picked really cool colors and they're very complimentary. Oh, this is my first time seeing a race. Are these like the races you can do every day and repeat them? Super interesting. So they're purple. I think that's what's going on here. I really like the way this drawing is like, I don't know like what the word is. It looks like there's like a gust of wind and it's like blowing the person's hair and the horse's hair in like a nice way. And I love, you're really good at drawing horses and the horse is super cute. I love your drawing. Thank you so much for your art. Okay, officially Ice Road Regan sent me this. It's me and an apple, my Appaloosa. They used as reference a photo I posted on my channel community page um, for an exciting upcoming video that will be coming soon. Intense. Um, but yeah, that's cool that they drew that because it's kind of a big deal for my channel. I thought you did a good job on like the pattern of the horse's coat. It looks really cute. And then again, it kind of reminds me of those like, faceless family pictures people used to do. It's a really cool style. I love it. Great job on your drawing. Thank you so much. And then the next submission is from Olivia. They also did a hand drawing and sent in a picture. Um, the details on the tail are so freaking good. Wait, so I don't know. I can't tell if they just changed the color of this race or like what happens when I finish. Can you just do it with a different horn? Anyways, I love that you wrote my name and it's so it's like looks like a movie poster. Like it's super cool. The layout of your drawing. Um, I really like the tail, like the horse's tail braided in the background and just like the way you positioned me on my horse facing away is super cool and unique. I really like that. You did a good job on hair. I don't know how you would draw hair. Like I use people's preset brushes on Procreate for all my digital drawings. I don't know how people do hair hand drawn, but this one looks really good. So you did a great job. Thank you for your submission. Okay, this one I know I'm going to mess up your name. I'm sorry. Sal Saldor Saldor. I don't know how to pronounce it, but dude, you have such a cool art style. Like it's so cool. Very unique. I don't even know how you d how you drew the I don't even know. It looks amazing. You did an awesome job. I love that I can tell that this picture was taken in front of Fort Pinta. For me, that is such like a nostalgic photo location spot. I don't know why. The way you draw your horses is so cool. Like such a cool style and the little bow on the horse. It's really cute. And I want whatever sweater this is, I want that sweater in game. The fit is on point. The character is cute. I love the character's pose. Like I really like everything about this photo. Thank you so much for your submission. Okay, and then Shy Oakwood posted their art and I love all the purple details details. This is one of my favorite jackets in the game. So very observant of you. I think I've worn it already. Like, I think I wore it like three videos in a row. It feels like. I don't know if that's true. Maybe not. Yeah, I really like the outfit. I love like, the pose. It's really cute. Looking at the looking at the horse, holding the reins. I really like the details on the rope halter. I think it looks super good. If I could have a rope halter IRL, if I had like horses, that would be really nice first. But if I couldn't have horses and I could only have a rope halter, I would want this rope halter. <laughs> it's so pretty. I want this rope halter. Even though it gets super dirty and, and I drop it in the mud, I would want it still. I would wash it every day if I had to. It's such a pretty rope halter. Okay, the next person who submitted lots of purple guys, lots of purple outfits, which I'm not mad. I like it and it shows you guys kind of know like what I like. I guess it's obvious my favorite color is light purple. I love this outfit. It's such a cool drawing. It's cool when you can tell exactly what horse it is by how detailed and good the coat is. Like, and you got me with the braids. Just the style of the character is really cool. Yeah, it's interesting how they changed the races to be more than one time a day. For me, it's hard because then it's never complete. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyways, I love your drawing. I love the braids. The braids get me every time. And I love how chunky the mane looks. Like, I love just the style of the mane and how you did the coat. And those fluffy leg wraps, they kind of remind me of some of the fluffy leg wraps in game, but your fluffy leg wraps are just better. Like, I want your fluffy leg wraps that you drew. If I could just have, like, the clothes you guys drew in these submissions, that would be great. Thing. I'd pay 100 star coins for some of these things, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and then Stephanie Shylock submitted this drawing. I thought this one was super cute. 
it gives me like such a woodsy like i don't know i just think it is like the most zen woods ever it looks like a fairy woods i just like the greens i guess in this photo i think the horse is so pretty the way the horse is like i don't know how do you draw someone i have to start over because i was staring at the picture <laughs> um i don't know how you draw someone sitting crisscross the applesauce i don't really know if you like edit it or if it's a mix of edit it slash drawing but it looks so cool like the crisscross applesauce and the, like the way the character is looking up and the hair and the horse's mane i really like the style and like the positioning of the character and the horse i think it's super pretty and just like the color scheme is very relaxing to me i don't know i really like it great job on your submission super pretty it's very like foresty and whimsical okay the next one is by tabby i love this one i don't know was there there weren't too many like photos of me riding horses that were moving i really like this one there were a couple though um of course we've got a purple top classic and then the flower crown the classic flower crown we love i loved your submission you did such a great job and i thought it was so cool that you had like strung up lights in the background okay the next submission was by toad and they drew me and my elsa era with my elsa granny granny braids we love and they bought freedom adventure friendship it's pretty much what my channel is about especially my home stable it's very much about freedom because i let my horses just roam around there without being in their stall all the time adventure i try new things on this channel like flat shows and friendship i have oh i don't have really any friends okay well just kidding it's it's fine i have like one sso friend so yeah i have you know friendship it's yeah it looks like a movie poster i'm in my else air like what's not to like okay and then this is actually the last submission willow hawk talon it's really cute i really like this the drawing you did it's like anime style i think the eyes are super cute and the horse is cute like, also like i don't know if this is weird but i really like your signature i mean i hate saying cute but i think everything is cute you guys all do like really beautiful cool things <laughs> i don't know what to say yeah like the style of this and the hair it's just adorable and the horse head oh my gosh it's so cute okay anyways Okay, sorry, there's so many inserts, but I just found this tag on YouTube by Totally Not Daphne. I have a YouTube channel, so you can check them out. But this is their submission, again, with the lovely faceless style. I love this outfit on SSO, and I'm so glad they picked this one for their submission. And the horse and the tack and the whole fit is just so, so cute. I love seeing their edit, their version of some new really cute fits on SSO. Thanks so much for your submission. Cool that I included everyone's submissions. I really tried my best to gather all of them please comment some nice things about our artists in the comments um share which one was your favorite and why um so all the artists can kind of see people loving their art because i feel like everyone that drew something for my contest even though i did pick winners um i honestly really just wanted to show off all of your art and all of your talent because you guys are very creative i was like overwhelmed by the number of submissions i got and all of the art i received like i don't feel super equipped to choose winners <laughs> like it was really hard for me like i can't emphasize enough um but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it was like a good way to show off all of your submissions they were all amazing i love different things about each and every one of them feel free to also post all your art on your socials of course it's your art and i'll never use your art without asking you for anything so you don't have to worry about that but anyways thanks again hope you guys enjoyed hope you enjoyed the contest and thanks for everyone who had really nice and supportive things to say about the contest and the result because i did work really hard on that contest hopefully you guys enjoyed thanks for watching bye I've been hiding a monster, keeping it quiet, I don't want bad.